Here's a nice example of uh, quite scarce, uh, an even rare uh, example of a Watling roller top. Close inspection uh, shows the attributes pretty quickly here. What you see first off is uh, in the top escalator, you see that the uh, coins are one cent, and in fact, this is a true one penny denomination machine. The second item that we see is that in fact the machine is uh, encased in a walnut uh, console cabinet and it is a uh, complete integrated floor standing uh, cabinet. In fact this is a two-piece uh, console design which is what uh, Watling offered from the factory. So in fact this uh, top part is one piece and the bottom cabinet is a second piece and they would be joined by a large uh, bolt. Uh, you could also, many operators would put sandbags or other things into the base to hold the machine down uh, to keep it not only from tipping over, but also from just being uh, being stolen. Um, this is a nice example in that it is, in fact, a true one penny machine that was born as a console machine from the Watling factory. If you were to um, take the machine and the chassis out of the walnut encasement, you would actually find that the sides of the cabinet, the uh, slot machine cabinet, are unfinished uh, and natural wood. Um, basically, Watling, in their efficiency and their manufacturing design, figured that, well, these parts of the case that are seen, such as the black in here, they would in fact go ahead and paint those. But for the main body of the outer cabinet, uh, there was really no point in spending time or money painting the cabinet only to have it go inside of another uh, outer shell. So uh, they cut some corners there and saved some time. And uh, what we have then as a result is we know that this machine was born into, so to speak, its, uh, its walnut case. Uh, pretty classic. Um, roll the top with the uh, cornucopia at the top. Uh, this has been restored properly. It has the correct um, sprayed gold lacquer. It is not plated. Uh, it matches the original finish and all of the other uh, painting details have been attended to as well. So just a good uh, overall playing machine. And again, a rather scarce model in that um, from an operator's perspective, a one cent roll the top cost uh, back in the in the 30s and 40s, just about the same amount as a five cent or a 10 cent model. So, um, given the price differential, it really didn't make sense for an operator to invest into a one penny machine and literally have to wait for five times longer the investment to get returned relative to a nickel machine, which was a much more common uh, machine in its day. So, uh, they were certainly made, they were certainly uh, in circulation, but the population of one penny. Uh, denomination roller tops is much, much, much lower than, uh, frankly, any of the other denominations that Watling would have offered. The machine again plays well. Let's see if we can get it to uh, pay off. And it does have fortune telling reels, which would be uh, typical for the uh, for the one cent denomination. Oh, we will keep uh, hitting some buttons here. A lot of lemons. Let's see if we can clear it up. Huh. We keep coming up lemons. Oh, a little better, but uh, we will just take some uh, some good luck out of the fortune reel, which says you will die a hideous death with spats on, but don't kid yourself. That would make it a hundred percent. You will be popular. Uh, can you bear it? So with those great words of fortune, we will uh, end the video for the Watling one penny console upright slot machine.